So, heading towards the southern end of the Staunton Island to see the, if I remember right, the last mission giver of this sen center, sec center isle, second island or stage, or how you wanna call it, phase of Grand Theft Auto 3. And, and judging by this building, it's he is not a man of little money first of all let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter people will read something into anything these days experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price but groups of men get greedy a valued resource an old oriental gentleman I know has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria they're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. Go and rescue my friend. Do whatever it takes. Simple mission and a pleasant, very American sounding Speaking voice was from Kyle McLachlan, a quite regular actor from uh, David Lynch uh, and made, made quite a long career. I wouldn't say him to be a really big star, but he is competent in m many kinds of roles. Done in mov been in movies and television series. And well, he's, he's good. He, he knows his work. He's, he's good. And uh, ju just to save some little bit of time, I, man I did nick a cartel car beforehand. It. Yay, I am a sneaky bastard. And uh, generally, knowing all the gang cars of this game, this is one of the handier ones. But they do open the gate without checking what kind of car there is. And now I've got some bullets to the bastards. Now I use the sniper rifle to... Bullets to the balls. Yep. More bullets to the balls. I didn't, rem I didn't remember they had... Modeled that part. That too, that too. Bullet to the head. Yep, I think it hurt. Bullet to the leg. I think that hurt too. Good thing too. But the guy to be rescued is somewhere around here, so let's just start going clockwise. That's a rational direction to go. Nothing here. No and a guy with a shot with a gun mm. ambushing me. Unpleasant. Yeah, you're me, eh? And another guy with a gun, but now I ambushed him. Oh, Donald Love. Yes, he's a. Uh, in well, in this Grand Theft Auto game, they they doesn't. There isn't much of prominent characters as in later, even in the completely next one. Grand Y City had a uh, much more prominent characters, but his story is more fleshed out in Liberty City Stories, which is the prequel of this and the. Uh, Chronologically, first game of 3D era of Grand Theft Auto. Now, it, now it's the HD era, which has had two games. This 3D era, and the old has five games. So yeah, there's a lot of space. But yeah, he's a co co corrupt businessman with weird habits. So just driving in all peace and quiet to here. After shooting uh, Colombian drug guys to the balls and throat and leg. But now I'm going here and dropping the nice guy off. And despite his age, he, he, ran, he walked quite well. And getting paid well enough. To just go do the next job. A 
Well, here was a suit. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war, apart from an outbreak of plague. But that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. Well, this is a bit more conv convoluted as in... <sighs> the unnamed Sumania so criminal called Claude still has the pro <laughs> has that slight problem that Jakuza has played straight with him this far. Mafia didn't play straight and he just wound up to in a quarrel with Triads by being first recruited by Mafia. But this is a real case of betraying somebody who well, probably has not liked you but still has employed you and paid well probably not paid gladly but paid not nonetheless but this is one of that, that kind of missions that you have to do it just certain way meaning you have to do a drive-by It's not that you can get out of the car and just shoot him with whatever other weaponry you might be having. This is, has to be done with specific way. Because I know a lot of methods that this could be done quite efficiently. But there's a more efficiently than this. But then again, I... I'm aware of the limitations of the medium and all those things. Shooting a lot. Oh, there he is. Squish. And this kind of drive by also. I rose the ire of coppers. Now I have to just get the fuck out of here without cops ma mangling me to bits. But luckily that means just that get out of there. Get, get further away from this racket, ruckus. Made him miss. Yep. Now oh, I dropped it. But still, uh, I still must be employed by Donald's, and it's gonna take a while to get there, so I'm just gonna boost Nick Steel. Look at this car. Actually, there's no need for that as, I, as it just takes maybe a, a minute or something. I don't just keep rambling that, not that long. Well, Yakuza, ha, which has been a two headed monster, two headed thing led by. Kinky, possibly bisexual Asuka, and uh, I don't know what kind of orientation Kenji has, except the fact that he can be quite an asshole. Uh, Ken, Ken actually know that the sister was called Asuka, and this one was Kenji. Kenji is history, Yakuza is hurt. And Kotal should know about, should get quite. And, uh, get quite the blame for, for that which is exactly the plan but although when the real estate state prices drop so low you cannot capitalize in that the, yeah the real estates are so low that you can buy a skyscraper with a five bucks but it's in a place where skyscraper is about to fall over 
Oh, yep. More McTrops. In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. So now I have to go and... Grab a boat. That should be too difficult. And there's the Genji's Casino. Looks quite peaceful and like. should be a boat. Oh shit, I drowned. This went to shit. Oh damn. Gotta do it again. Going again. Which it was, which even was the plane? Was it the yellow or the red dot? Not to remember, can't, can't really remember that. But going through the quite similar route. And it looks like the boat is at the... Try to use the same trick. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now, oh, now it's here. All right. Boat. 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 Is there a boat? No fucking boat on here. Now to get to the other pier, weird pier which doesn't have any boats in it. Uh. Going, doing my best to make it there in time, grabbing the boat and all that kind of nonsense. The timer goes. Do I fail? Plane has arrived and dropped the packages, but did I have a time limit or not? Because if I don't have a time limit, there's no problem. But if I do have a time limit, this is can be go to shit. Drop the packages. Yep, it dropped them all. And it went to shit. Now, oh, this is sixth attempt on this mission. All the previous ones have gone to shit for various reasons. My own fuck ups and the fact that the police in here are absolutely insane. And once you get to the Federal Investigation Bureau when it's showing up, hey, they are just even more, even more insane 
And they have much more, they have more men in their cars which are fa insanely fast. And they are, and those men's have, men have also much bigger guns. Than every other, so, which means that when that car stops right next to you already in an already chaotic situation you can be certain that you're gonna get so so full of holes that you can't even say uh, uh, say oops but still trying luckily the geography has some sort of place a bit friendly as well once I get there I, I can show and I wonder what kind of stuff could that plane be dropping if it's this wanted by police? I don't think it would be cocaine. If you wanna, if they would be this interested about airplane flying and green stuff, they probably would be filled with cocaine or whatever, or whatever stuff drugs they it would be carrying. This is well, well be something much. Really weird. This is the yeah, I got all the stuff. Stop. We have you covered. This is the oh, yep, yeah. I'm out of this. That was a bit of bad landing, but doesn't matter. Running around, going real fast, hoping to get rock hard, which gives me at least temporary invincibility towards bullets. And of course, also allows me to use the pain spray, which allows me to get the fuck out of, out, 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 out of this m police disaster mess. Oh yeah, that black car is... Fits. Which means bad luck to you. Well, but now I got to the pay and spray. And I'm inside. And there's a oh, there's a FIB car right over there. I think I'm gonna do a bit of a trickery, mostly because that car is worth a lot. Actually, I'm gonna do that trickery off screen and then I'm gonna go deliver the stuff to Down of Love. Looks like all I had to do was just uh, go and st steal the car from the driver. And the others don't know what to do. Maybe they were never trained. And what happens when the maniac would try to car check a car from FIB? And they just didn't know what to do. They were very well trained about cases of violent maniacs running around with heavy artillery, but not for the simple car checking. And that FIB car is actually quite difficult to get. And well, that's probably one of the better opportunities to get it. Unless, of course, you would use some sort of cheats to have infinite health or ammo when you could just tank through them and grab a car and go elsewhere. But delivering drugs or whatever crazy stuff you don't love. With a sports car. And only a slight amount of dis death, destruction and mayhem. And that was a... Uh, and he still has a job. Grand Theft Arrow. That's a nice Thank name. Thank you for retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. 
Sorry about that, but that's sometimes the way in business. Yeah. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, the port authorities seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. I've paid off the officials. My property will be waiting for you at the customs hangar in the aircraft fuselage. So, well, uh, well, that's of course, yeah, the decoy part. Yeah, in a sense, that's understandable. But now it looks like the Shoreside Vale is open. Meaning the third island of the game is now available. And I'm, which means I'm gonna go there and drive. Yep, it's open. And I hope I can just drive straight through the to the Raw big bridge system. Here it is. Going to forward to Shoreside Vale. And of course, Liberty City must have an airport as it is big. But talking about that uh, deco being a decoy. Yeah, yeah, you you take a you carry a decoy, you do a decoy delivery somewhere, but it still would be best that if the day decoy would still be needed, that if the decoy gets caught, so what? It was accept, it it can be accept accepted, but and if it was not caught, that would mean it good thing to you. Oh, so they got firepower <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. don't have long-range weaponry to prepare with a bigger guns. Climbing back here. Tough missions. <laughs> and I've got to wind up in here. Shit, this is gonna be a long ride back. Driving back towards the airplane hangar with stuff necessary and now this time I have a long distance weaponry to handle the, all these goons or what, however you want to call them these unpleasant fellows with excessively large weaponry and when you have the appropriate weaponry You do what you can with what you got. Well. Oh yeah, airplane with no wings called Dodo. Flightless bird. Ah, construction company. Hmm. I want to get there. Well, I'm stealing it. 
uh, which makes this is a trip I have to do go back to that place which is gonna take a short while so I'm gonna cut again well here here's the construction right near the safe house but why do I have a feeling that this is not gonna be as easy as I think it looks yep it ain't there's gunmen number I don't know level of danger is quite much but luckily there's no need to be subtle so I can just lob hand grenades and all that kind of stuff as much as I bloody hell want to or just lure them up to the to, to places where I can sh start shooting them <sighs> like birds or whatever bum bum And those guys de clearly deliberately started this whole mess, so now they now they have to not be particularly glad, happy about it. I'm gonna blow those cars up just because. Uh, being careful. Wrong place to go. Fuck! Again. Now oh, trying to do some... Pro getting progress further. Just discriminately bl blast blasting with grenades and all that kind of stuff. Just... If... Just in case there are some... Nasty dudes with guns there. Oh, yes, there is. The aim of those guys is abysmal, so it's well, there's some leniency in this. But even though the discriminate bombardment also still wasn't most likely enough to effectively remove all those dudes from exis existence. I don't know, uh, did they just not spawn or to this game or something like take the lift? I think I'm getting through. Well, there's the lift. Getting up. A big skyscraper about to be built. Yep, that's a very high building. Can't say exactly how high. Hey, let's get this out of here. God knows what it is, but he seems to want it badly enough, so it must be worth something. Hold the Hello. Hey, take it easy, amigo. No es nada, no es nada. I left you pouring your heart out into the gutter. Hey, don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We all friends. Don't yeah, be such take a this. pussy. Hey, we got no choice, baby. Yeah. Oh no shit. Choice, you dumb bastard. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Apparently the, the rule bitch, gravity the same, lack, lack, it, lack of gravity applies to them. So, the whore got away. But you've done me a favor. You're not the only one that has a score to settle with the cartel. This worm killed my brother. I never killed no Yakuza. Liar! We all saw the cartel assassin. 
We are going to hunt down and kill all you Colombian dogs. I'll be operating on our friend here to extract oh. information oh. and a little pleasure. Yep. You, drop by later. I'm sure I'll require your services. Please, amigo. Oh, don't leave me here with her, man. She's, she's psycho, chico, man. Please, amigo. Hey, hey, amigo. Amigo. I am not your friend. Claude is not amigo of that guy. I really can't remember. Was he... Was that guy at the intro being the... One of the bank robbers or not? I'd, I'd have to check the footage. But Catalina was there and she shot me. So apparently she is very got a bit confused about yeah being shot, not died, being attempted to bomb him to death with suicide bombers didn't die. Now he showed up again. But she uh, like but unfortunately she, she had the same ability as Claude had, has. That means ability to jump from very high distances without hurting himself, at least badly. They later would fix. It. They later fixed that so that their falling damage would accumulate much faster, meaning you couldn't just jump down from five five-story buildings without any problems. No, you would just die doing that. But let's deliver the stuff. Oh yeah. Colombians are... Well, they aren't in good shape. And more jobs for Donald Love. You are proving to be a safe investment. A rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. Yep, that is it. But if I remember right, there's a bit of a trick you can do in this mission. Which is something that, no, you are not gonna be start escorting that guy. Or actually, in a sense you are, but you are not doing it like uh, fighters would escort bombers. No, you do it like the, they would later learn in World War II how they fighters shoot escort bombers which is say they go first they open the path to them not just stick around with them to provide security no they they go first mostly because the op opposition with their bombers over to say with their own fighter planes wants to is more than willing to just do the Oh, oh yeah, the opposition must get their own fighter planes closer to the bombers so they can uh, Watch the car. so they can actually do the so they can do their work on uh, unofficially on uh, well went crazy. The defending uh, fighter planes, they mu they must start. Uh, they must get close enough to attack bombers, all right. And uh, and if the escorting fighters of for the bombers attack before the uh, defending fighters have managed to get to the reach, that means. Hotel motherfuckers. Yeah, that's history. El Cajato lo Presidente. Dude. Ah, the big police attention. And he's going through the tunnels. If I 
remember right, this tunnel leads to the Stone Shoreside Rail. And I'm gonna still try to use to do the trick, which is to say, let that bastard just go by himself. He did. Oh, fucking poppers! Cop running at me, real stupid guy. I uh, now I had to go on foot, but I hope that the trick I mentioned about is functioning. Which is to say, as I am not even close to that guy, it's about to be escorted. The Colombian drug boys are not about to take it. I hope it applies. If it doesn't, I'm, f I'm very annoyed because these missions have taken quite a big toll on my patience and time. Mostly, mostly patience. But trying to follow. It's something that the game doesn't track, uh, create these cars or hazards. It's a good tunnel. Yep, shows like well. Uh, ho hopefully that guy has already driven through this. So the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got it's got it by some dudes. Yep. Just driving around. In Shoreside Whale, place with weird things. Not being particularly friendly, neighbor, part of neighborhood in Grand Theft Autoverse. But if I remember right, this actually didn't later show up. It just. I'm setting by the purple and red, purple and red colors. This is Gangland. Oh yeah, this way. And it's a bit maze-like being with these multiple levels of streets that you can drive being a hillside. Being situated on the side of a hill makes it a bit more complicated. As in that you even... Yes, look at that. The car just drove completely unharmed. Well, mostly unharmed, with no problem at all to the place. And this is a quite fancy dam within a big city. But still looks like Mr. Donald Love has jobs for me, so I'm gonna drive there. Yep, that little trick worked. You don't need to escort that car, just let it run by itself and the mission resolve itself. Yay. And now go in again to see what kind of job he has now. A lesson in business, my friend. If you have a unique commodity, the world and his wife will try to wrestle it from your grasp, even if they have little understanding as to its true value. SWAT teams have cordoned off the area around my associate in the package. Get over there, pick up the van, and act as a decoy. Keep them busy, and he should make good his escape. Well, now at least now I work. Now I am a decoy with knowledge that I am a decoy. So that should make things a bit more simple. In a sense, knowing that hey, you're a decoy. So try to act as a decoy and be 
suspicious, fat, and all that kind of stuff. Mostly because once they catch you, they know that you are a decoy. Trying to be fast and efficient. And these don't love missions are actually quite lo annoyingly long with this. Oh, fucking whoop. Nice flips and all that, but not so good. Yep, sports cars are real fast goers. That's their very idea. About how practical they are and how fancy road they must demand, uh, that's a completely different thing. Of course knowing that they are they are cars that is that they are type of vehicle that given that it demands a sufficient amount of pampering and e flat course and once that it gets that it's faster than anyone anything else but it's not it, it's in a sense not a service vehicle it doesn't do its it cannot serve in many conditions but it serve in that one condition where it's made it's very good at the it's a specialized thing so i guess deco is something similar to that it's a specialized job Well, I don't know what kind of per personalities it is. Well, I hope that they aren't, aren't so trigger happy with this, as in allowing me to get the move around with. Trigger happiness is always a problem in. Yep, and now it's gone real bad. But yeah, I am leading them away from the warehouse. Doing my best for that. I think I'm gonna try that method of going just to the airport and driving around there and hoping that the time runs out. As I assume I must survive these couple of two minutes. Which, being in here just lurking is very boring and I can't actually figure out much of things to ramble during those times so I'm gonna break the recording here for about two minutes and now the time is about to close so I hope this is the right this was the right way to do this yes it was handy just drive to the airport and stay hidden that way you the mission is solved very easily no need to drive around chaotically just yeah don't don't run Hide. That's the method. At least in some cases the basic method basic method of stealth. Don't run, hide. Because running can be seen. Running makes you pay attention to what is running. Hiding doesn't work doesn't. But still looks like Donald Love has job. Time to go there again. Oh, he should bloody hell be ready. So he wasn't there and that was the mission. Weird. Not to say where he was going why he did it but that actually ends this episode right here and it was a long one with lots of fail in it but also some trickery so i'll see you next time see you